Hello, today I will show you how to add fin plugs in Shape 3D and leash plugs in a board. It's quite simple, we open the window size and parameters, we go to the plug tab, and there we insert, for example, the number of fin plugs, three, and we have the choice between different fin systems like FCS2, Futures, etc. We click on new plug, <coughs> we can add a leash plug, we can choose the diameter and then we click OK. Here we have the three boxes that we that are in the default position and we can see them in the size view too <coughs> by clicking on the fin in the toolbar. We can see if the depth is correct <coughs> and then we can move the plugs with the mouse. Uh, but also in the properties window where we can set the distance from the tail of the board and also from the rail so the reference point here is the tail of the fin so for example you can set three centimeters for the distance to the rail we press enter and we can also define the toe, which is <coughs> the distance between the rear and the front of the fin, uh, knowing that the fin length is set here. For example, here 10 cm, we set the toe of 0.5 cm. This gives us <coughs> the tilt angle in degrees of 2.87. We also have the convergence distance, which is the distance between the tail of the fins and the uh, conversion point of the two fins. We can see the plugs in the 3D view like this. <coughs> we can change their color if we want. We can also change the fin system. Let's go to FCS2. So we see that the reference point stay unchanged. In the 3D view, we go to the 3D properties, click on fin setter, and we can change the color from standard to red, for example. Okay, we can do the same for the leash plug. Leash, uh, <coughs> we can go to black or silver or even the FCS colors. Okay, now that we have defined the plugs, uh, we <coughs> could want to transfer them to another board that we, so for example, let's save this file, call it uh, test3, <coughs> and we open another file that we did before that have has no fin plugs, <coughs> and we can load directly the plugs of the other file in this one, we do right click, go to plugs, load plugs, <coughs> and we select the file we just saved before, test 3, open, and here we go, we have all the plugs loaded, leash and fins. We could also have saved this uh, leash and fin plugs in a separated file, we go to save as, and here we call it new model plugs. Here we go. <coughs> and let's start over, delete these plugs. We we'll go to size and parameters, set zero. Okay. And then we can go again, right click, <coughs> plugs, slow plugs, and we select this plugs file, which is new model plugs. Okay, and here we go, we have the same plugs. Now we can look at these plugs in the plan mode to get the tail distance, rail distance, and toe. And you can also <coughs> have use the plugs in the CNC mode. 
So for example, if you have a CNC machine with a small enough tool or with a tool changer, here we have a machine with a tool changer with a special tool for the plugs. In the plugs tab, you can select the plugs you want to cut. So if you compute the tool pass, you'll see the main tool pass and <coughs> the plugs tool pass. You can hide the main tool pass so you see how the plugs are cut and the bottom it's the same. <coughs> and you can also use a stringer roughing function to cut the wooden stringer slowly with smaller steps. So you see the <coughs> roughing steps and then the plug cutting. So that's it, it's finished, and see you next time for more videos.